um, and talk about the 28 days and your results and stuff like that. Okay. Did you get the email from yeah. us? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yes, if, you, if you want to just fire away then and just tell us um, the sort of results that you've you experienced and you've achieved on the 28th day and how it might have affected your, your life. Yeah, no worries. Well, um, I managed to lose 11% of my body fat, which yeah. I was quite shocked at. And yeah. I think I lost just under 12 pounds um, yeah. in total from the 28 days. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was uh, amazed at it really. Right. Okay. Have you wasn't tried? Quite it wasn't quite expecting those results. No. What was you expecting? I thought maybe um, I'd probably only lose because when I started, I wasn't I wasn't overweight or I wasn't um, I didn't, didn't do it to lose weight. It was mainly just to sort of tone up and feel yeah. better in my skin. So yeah. I thought maybe five or six pounds, and then with the percentage lost, I didn't think I'd get anywhere near past six percent to be honest so um yeah i was amazed really cool How, have you tried anything in the past before you come on 28 day um what in terms of diets diet gyms programs weird kind of shape things oh, oh. Sorry, say that again. You're breaking up. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, you just broke up there. I just said, um, have you tried anything else in the past, like gyms or or other personal training programs? Yeah. Um, I went. I've done. I went to Yarborough Gym. Yeah. But um, I didn't really do classes. It was just more going to the gym. But I just couldn't motivate myself to do it. Um, right. And then in terms of diets, it was, I always just thought carbohydrates were what was piling on the pounds. So the fad diets of no carbohydrates or trying to only eat one meal a day yeah. um, because I thought that would help me lose weight. Right. And, it, and obviously that didn't work. So, um, but no. Yeah, so they're, they're the only things I've ever tried in the past. I've not researched anything or tried anything other than just thinking if I stopped eating enough or I didn't eat as much, yeah. I would just lose the weight. So was you surprised when we give you the, the amount of food and you was only training for three, 30 minutes? Was you surprised at what? what yeah, you... I never, I think like after the third week, I think on, on the third week, I, I started to feel a bit hungry in the evenings. Yeah. Um, but then I'd just have um, like some more water and it would be fine. Yeah. Um, but I was surprised that I wasn't starving. I wasn't hungry. Right. If anything, some of the times when I had the snacks, I struggled to have them because I just didn't. I wasn't hungry. Um, and then only a thirty-minute exercise three times a week. So yeah, no, I was quite surprised. Are you carry, are you carrying on with those habits you've we've taught you. Yeah, we do. Um, before we didn't used to prep food. That was our big downfall. So for lunches, because we w I work out in the community, so I'd just go to the nearest shop, grab a sandwich. But every Sunday, we both prep for the week, cool. have our lunches, freeze them, and then we've got them for, for the work for work as well. Brilliant. So, and then in the evenings as well, just trying to be more um, a bit better with what our, what our meals are. Obviously, on on a weekend we do have something a bit different, but yeah. apart from that, yeah. So you're a lot more aware of what you should be eating and the sort of sizes of food that you should be eating. Yeah, we still stick to the portions, even with measuring it out at lunchtime and then yeah. for breakfast. Like I still really enjoy just having like Greek yogurt and a bit of fruit, so we always measure that out, measure it out for lunches as well, and then at dinner, yeah, same same again throughout the week. Cool. So we're, we're sticking to that and it's, it's been really helpful. It just makes, I think it makes everything a lot easier when you prep. Before yeah. I, just, I just couldn't be bothered to do it, but I've just noticed such a difference and what a difference it is when you do. Brilliant. So going back to the 28 day challenge, what do you think the, the best part of the challenge was? Why do you think you got the results? Do you think it's the, the environment, the classes, the Facebook group, the nutrition, um, the accountability? 
yeah the the facebook group was really good because obviously as i was starting people were just finishing the challenges so when they were putting up their testimonies that you could see the difference that they were in their weight loss so yeah. that, that was such a big motivation and then i think after week one when we first went to our weigh in um i think my my partner lost um i think he lost seven seven or eight pound in the first week and i lost five yeah but we just didn't we just didn't know how it happened because we, we didn't feel hungry. We felt really good going to the gym. Um, so that was the big motivation on the Saturdays when we got weighed. That's yeah. what we sort of looked towards. So that really helped. Um, yeah. But yeah, I know it was uh, the classes. I really enjoyed the classes. They were really, really good. Yeah. Um, everyone was really nice. You met some really great people there as well. So how it was more like a, an activity rather than going to work out. So it was really nice. How did you feel when you first come into the gym? Were you a bit nervous? Or oh, God, I think I put on the group now because I don't go to the gym. I think the last time I went to the gym was about two years ago and I cancelled my membership because I remember going in and just thinking, I don't belong here. <laughs> so I tried and then um, everyone was really supportive. Everyone was really good and they just said, you'll be fine. And I was just really nervous because I was like, I've never lifted a weight in my life. Yeah. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but then after about the first day, that was really tough. I think I ate for about six days afterwards. Wow. But then as I got into it, it was just, it was fun. Like, I just really enjoyed it. Like, I looked forward to going to the gym after work. Cool. And that's something I'd never thought I'd say. Yeah. Are you still going to the gym now? Um, I do a lot of running and I haven't joined a gym. Uh, my partner, he goes to the gym every morning still. Yeah. So, not yet. No. You need to need to get in back in there while you while you're still motivated. I know, definitely. Yeah, yeah I know, definitely. So, what would you say to someone who's kind of on the fence about coming in? Because we get loads of people apply, but not everybody jumps at the chance. So, what would you say to them to kind of push them into making the decision? Um, I definitely, definitely do it. I think I I found it easier doing it with my partner because yeah. we were both meal prepping at the same time we were both doing it um having the same sort of meals for the first three weeks we were both on the same plan so it was very easy for us to do our meals together yeah. um and his like having his support with it as well mm. you know there was the odd time i was like oh i just really want to have something sweet and he just like don't do it because you'll regret it and you'll feel rubbish about yourself yeah. and i'm and i'm pleased to have him as a motivation but i just think i felt really nervous i was on the fence about doing it it was just, he was like, oh, my partner said, just pay, we're going to do it, it's fine. And then before I knew it, I was doing it. But I think you've just got to just bite the bullet and get on with it, really. So, but I would recommend it. I mean, I've had a few people come up to me and they've said, oh, you look amazing. Like, how did you do it? And I've said this, like, you won't be hungry, you'll feel amazing. Yeah. So um, definitely, I think you definitely need to do it. Brilliant. Okay, Kira, thank you for that. Um, thank you that's everything um hopefully we'll see you at the gym at some point hopefully yes definitely yeah. thank you very much all right thank you see you soon see you soon bye